Hi everyone and welcome back to the Organized Notebook. In this video, we wanted to share about Notion's 2.36 update and walk you through all the changes. If you find this helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Let's dive right in. Let's go over Notion's own notes on Notion 2.36 and discover what kinds of changes have happened here. So first, let's go to this one, which is quickly find pages with better search. On desktop, use the keyboard shortcut Command plus K or Control plus K on Windows to pull up search and then try searching for Notion 2.36 to see the preview of this tutorial. So let's actually try this. So if we go Command K on Mac and then we search Notion 2.36, then we should be able to see a preview on the right hand side. So this is really useful because now you can actually see what kind of content is inside the page. And then let's see what else there is. So the next thing is duplicate a database without content. So if we have this database here and we click the six dots on the left hand side, we can actually go to duplicate and then choose duplicate with content or duplicate without content. So this is really useful if you just want to duplicate the sort of format of the database without the content and this was not previously possible so this is definitely a great change and we can even try it so let's duplicate it without content and now we see here there's no content inside which is super useful and then next we have upgrades to web publishing so if we go to settings and members on the sidebar and click sites, you can actually view a list of your workspaces published pages. So this is also really nice because now you can keep track of all the pages that you've published to the web without having to go through each page. So let's actually go there. And now you can see all of the links that we've published online and you can see view site, you can copy the link as well as configure site settings like this. So this is also a really nice feature. And the other thing is that they've also mentioned that search engine indexing is now available for all plans, regardless of whether you have a paid plan or not. So that's also a really great change. And then we have the bonus little fixes and they say that pages load 15 to 20 percent faster so in the past if you had a lot of information pages would load quite slowly so this is a really nice change as well and another nice fix is see a live preview of a zendesk ticket in your notion page or database by pasting its link as well as add description to database properties and views that appear on hover. And this is actually a big one, although they say that it is a small change. So if we just show you by typing slash database and choosing inline, and let's say that we want to add a description to the name, we can just click this edit property. And then you'll see this add property description here. And if you click it, you can actually add a description. So the name of this sample database. And then if we click enter and we go out of it, then if we hover, it's going to show this description. So this is a really good way to add some description and context to your databases if other people are using it so that they understand immediately what these properties are about. And the other thing is new options include page comments in an export. And we tried this, but we haven't been able to find this feature yet, but we're sure that it's coming. So that's also a nice thing to look forward to. So those are all the changes that are happening with the Notion 2.36 update. We hope that this was useful for you. What feature are you most excited for? And let us know if you have any comments or anything confusing in this video. And we hope to see you in the next one.